Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and oh my goodness do I have breaking news for you San Francisco 49er fans. Quarterback Brock Purdy is out. Um, on Monday, it was reported he had shoulder soreness. I warned that I I was worried this was a bigger deal than they were letting leading on when Christian McCaffrey had his bilateral Achilles tendonitis. They originally just called it calf soreness. When Javon Hargrave missed the entire season with his tricep injury and needed surgery, they started by just calling it elbow soreness. They come out on Monday. Kyle says, Brock Purdy, he has shoulder soreness. Then he doesn't throw a football all week. Obviously, they have Tuesday off. Wednesday, he can't throw a football. Thursday, can't throw a football. He goes out there, tries, attempts like four passes. The trainer's rubbing on it. He leaves, goes to the rehab room. Today, and I was, I was anticipating that it was going to be a game time decision this entire time. I didn't think that they would rule Brock Purdy out. Now, Brock Purdy is tough as nails, and the season is on the line. I mean, it's possible the 49ers, even if they won this week, would still miss the playoffs. That's how screwed they are right now. But they need this Packers game. Packers are in the NFC. It is a division game. It's so critical. They literally could save their season if they won this week. And I thought that Brock Purdy was gonna, you know, push it. They were gonna shoot something in the shoulder and he was gonna go. Unfortunately, today, Kyle Shanahan came out after practice. One of the first things he says, Brock Purdy, out. Uh, by the way, Nick Bosa, also out with the obliques, hip, both, both hip injuries. So Nick Bosa out. Charvarius Ward, with his personal issue, he's going to be out. He is back with the team and feeling good. Um, they're just trying to round him out into football shape. And then Trent Williams, who hasn't participated all week because of his ankle injury he will be a game time game time decision this is crazy i thought all these guys were going to be game time decisions nick bosa isn't even going to fly with the team brock purdy i assume would fly with the team and try to warm up and go um i know they're going to be staying in santa clara doing the rehab Kyle Shanahan said that Brock Purdy doesn't know exactly when he injured his shoulder, but kind of a, a bomb to drop is apparently it was hurting him going into last week, last Sunday's game against the Seahawks. Uh, Kyle said that Brock Purdy had to spend extra time warming up than he normally did because his shoulder was a lot stiffer. It was, he was having a lot of issues getting it loose. That would make sense because Brock Purdy played really bad on Sunday. Um, he was doing a lot of like Jimmy throws, overthrowing guys, passing up throws down the field. And that makes sense if his shoulder was so injured that he, you know, couldn't get the ball down the field or didn't feel confident he could. It makes sense that he was passing up those throws. Um, apparently he kept trying to warm it up throughout the game. It kept bothering him. And then really after the game, when the adrenaline went down is when he told Kyle Shanahan, hey, something's wrong. They got an MRI. Uh, John Lynch spoke this morning and then Kyle Shanahan just right now in the press conference um, confirmed that the MRIs showed that there wasn't anything wrong. Now, I don't know, maybe they have to do a CAT scan. I'm a former athlete. I fractured my shins when I was in college and it didn't show up on an MRI. I had to get a CAT scan because the tears were so minute. I know in the shoulder there's lots of micro tissues going on in there. So I don't know, did he did he injure his shoulder and it's not showing up? Is it is it related to his Tommy John elbow thing happened where maybe after a certain amount of usage, it's always gonna flare up and bother him. Kyle said he's questionable to go next Sunday. So that means this is a big deal because not only did they rule him out an entire day earlier than they needed to. So they're saying, we're not even gonna try. It's so bad that, that there's no way he can go tomorrow or there's no way he can go on Sunday um but then also they're saying next week he might not go uh this this season is on the brink I'm I'm stunned I can't believe this is happening uh George Kittle will go he has that that hamstring injury but he's gonna go I'm, I'm almost thinking like you should lock him down you should lock Christian McCaffrey down. These guys that you have on long-term deals, I don't know if you want to push them to go out and play in the snow. Um, now, obviously, that's over dramatic. So, you know, they, they're going to go. Um, I don't know if I said it earlier. Fuck it. For some reason, Kyle Shanahan loves his system so much that Brandon Allen is going to be the starting quarterback. I don't know why it's not Josh Jobs. Josh Jobs 
has proven with the Vikings. He went on, I think, a four or five game winning streak. Uh, same thing with the Browns, am I right? They won two or three games with the Browns too. So Josh Dobbs has shown that he's more than capable to win at least one game. He can scramble, which is pivotal with this team that has an offensive line that's been struggling. Uh, he can throw the ball down the field. I think Josh Dobbs is far more talented, younger, more athletic than the 32-year-old Brandon Allen. But Brandon Allen, obviously this year and last year was with the 49ers. And then right before that, he was with the Bengals. Zach Taylor is the Bengals coach and he is a disciple of Kyle Shanahan. So I think Shanahan is just so married to his system that he is willing to start the worst quarterback, in my opinion. Um, even Tanner Mordecai, the young guy that they just got, I mean, he, he really has legs and stuff. I, I don't know. I haven't seen him. They give him like two throws in practice. So I haven't been able to see him really work with the ones. And I do know that Josh Allen has consistently, Josh Allen and Josh Dobbs, Brandon Allen, sorry, and Josh Dobbs have consistently been the quarterbacks that are working with the doubt, with the defense on the scout team. Um, I, I think you need to go with your best quarterback and you need to go with Josh Dobbs. He is a guy that no doubt you can win if, you know, Juwan Jennings is on his A game. If Debo actually has a good game, Christian McCaffrey, he's going to get, you know, at 20 snaps for no reason. Um, if they run a little bit of Jordan Mason, George Kittle is going to be out there. If Trent Williams, Trent Williams does play, I think that you should go with Josh Dobbs. He gives you the best um possibility of winning but for whatever reason I mean Josh uh Brandon Allen just talked today uh Kyle Shanahan came out announced that Brock was going to be out and then after him Brandon Allen came out and talked um said that he was excited about his opportunity and that Brock said you know he'd be back soon now once again he's ruled out this week and then maybe even rolled out next week so might not be soon enough but yeah, that's those are the updates. I wanted to give you guys an immediate instant reaction. I ran out to my car uh, to let you guys know crazy times that we're in for the 49ers. Talk about the Super Bowl hangover, the Madden curse, whatever you want to call it. This is this is terrifying. Is there a way that, that the 49ers win a game with with Brandon Allen or am I being too optimistic? I'll let you guys know. Anyways, I wanted to give you the updates. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, probably gonna be going live with Marco tomorrow. I think I covered it for, for all the injuries. Out, not even traveling with the team is gonna be Brock Purdy, horrible. Uh, Nick Bosa and Charvarius Ward. Like I said, Ward has been with the team. He's feeling good, uh, been participating. They just don't wanna rush him because the three weeks that he took off to mourn his daughter, he obviously wasn't practicing at all. So they don't want him to pull something, try to trying to hurry back. Um, as, aside from that as well, Renardo Green has been playing well and so has the rookie Renardo Green and so has obviously Diamaro Lenore who they just extended. But terrifying, terrifying news. Uh, and then same thing, I don't know, are, uh, is, is Nick Bosa going to be out for the rest of the year? If he had a really bad oblique injury, mind you, in college, he had to have core surgery and he's had Achilles injuries, or not Achilles, sorry, um, ACL injuries as well. Um, now he has apparently two hips and two obliques. Oh, terrifying news for the 49ers. Hopefully Trent can go and they can pull out one game. Maybe they go on, you know, a a run with Brandon Allen. Who knows? Super Bowl with Brandon Allen. Here we come. Doesn't seem like it, but dang. Love you guys. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Like I said, I'll be bringing you all the breaking news as soon as it's announced every time. Thanks. Bye.